Okay, this sermon is entitled, Seminary is a Waste and a Joke. I'd like to open up with prayer. And then with a few verses, all right, dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners. I ask all this in Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 70 reads, Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Let them be ashamed and confounded that seek after my soul. Let them be turned backward and put to confusion that desire my hurt. Let them be turned back for a reward of shame that say, aha, aha. Now, over the years, I've been told by a bunch of stupid people that I needed to go to seminary. And based on what I've heard from seminaries, it's a total joke and a waste of time, energy, and money because most seminaries teach a false gospel. Most seminaries are Calvinistic, and what they produce are a bunch of false prophets. Now, I actually knew someone who went to seminary, and this guy was an unsaved devil. He literally said, quote, It isn't enough for Jesus to die for you. You have to make him Lord of your life. Now, if that's what seminary produces, then I want nothing to do with it. Now, another reason why seminaries are so perilous and so wasteful is because they produce nothing but pride. The people that go there are puffed up. The nomenclature that is associated with seminary is nothing but boastful initialisms, surnames. Like, for instance, you have doctors of theology, doctors of philosophy. You can get your DTH or your THD. There's even doctor of divinity and doctor of sacred theology there's even what's called tracks t-r-a-c-s transnational association of christian colleges and schools now we don't need all this alphabet soup it's bad enough that we have dr john MacArthur, dr rc sproul they're both unsaved reprobate devils and that's all you get from seminary now, another reason why it's not necessary is because the Bible teaches us that the Holy Spirit should be our tutor, not man. Turn over to 1 John chapter 2. Let's take a look at verse 27, and it reads, But the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you, and ye need not that any man teach you, but as the same anointing teacheth you of all things, and is truth, and is no lie, and even as it hath taught you, ye shall abide in him. So it's not important to study the geek or to get all filled with theological knowledge. All you need is to be, number one, born again. You need to be spirit-filled. You need a King James Bible. And you need to be able to, with right division, preach the, the gospel of grace. This does not require any type of PhD or any type of doctorate or any type of Christian ministry leadership degree or online seminary degree or anything. All you need is to be able to speak God's word. Turn over to John chapter 3. Let's take a look at verse 34 and it reads, For he whom God hath sent speaketh the words of God, for God giveth not the Spirit by measure unto him. Now, anyone who is saved can speak God's word. And all you need is the Holy Spirit to guide you into all truth, and you can be a soul winner without any type of college degree. And in all truth, I've never met a seminary student or graduate that was a soul winner. Most of the time, all these people do is debate, and like I said, they're wrong on the gospel. So the conclusion of the matter is, is that seminary is a waste of time, and it's a joke, and we don't need it. All we need is the King James Bible, and motivation to go out and preach the true gospel of grace or free grace theology. That's all I have. Let me go ahead and close in prayer. Dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners. I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen.